Since iOS 16 has been released, the iPhone users are still trying to figure out the new features and trying to enjoy them. And here Apple released or already released a new update that is iOS 16.1 Beta 1. So in this video, we'll talk about this new update and what are the new features. So hey guys, welcome to Technical Beardo here. If you want to watch videos regarding your iPhone tips and tricks, iPhone solutions and iPhone update, then please do subscribe. So now, let's start the video. So now talking about this update, first of all, we'll talk about the update released. So iOS 16.1 Beta 1 has been released along with your iPadOS 16.1 Beta 1. But it's weird, it says that iPadOS 16 Beta 8 along with your watchOS 9.1 Beta and your tvOS 16.1 Beta. And here, now talking about the build number for the new update, it is 20B5045D. It is a new build number for iOS 16.1 Beta 1. After the build number, we'll talk about the size or the update size. For my iPhone 12, the update was around 5.12 GB, but it may vary according to your devices and your earlier iOS version. This 5 GB won't be your actual update size, just an overlay about whole update. And now, let's talk about the actual features or new features in this update. So, talking about the first update or first feature, that will be a big relief or a big thing for iPhone users like your iPhone 11 user, iPhone XR, iPhone 12 mini or iPhone 13 mini. The feature is that now they can use or they can have a battery percentage indicator in their status bar in iPhone. In earlier update, this feature was not available. So now after iOS 16.1 beta 1, all the devices with a notch can have a battery percentage indicator on their iPhone. That's a big relief for the iPhone users or older iPhone users. So now talking about battery also, if you just scroll down here, if you see in the same option, you will see the battery health has been changed to battery health and charging. If you open that, you will see a new update or a new feature here. That is your clean energy charging. It's a new feature regarding your carbon emission charging pattern. So we'll talk about this in detail once I come to know or understand the feature in detail. But before that, if you see, if you disable it, by default it is enabled. Now once you disable it, you will see a pop-up here, like a clean energy charging helps reduce carbon footprint. So here, it is just a warning or a notification for you. Then you can choose turn off until tomorrow or turn off. For now, let's put it off, okay? So that was about your battery and battery new features here. So now talking about next big thing. We all know that iOS 16 has been a big thing for a login customization because you can customize everything, wallpaper, font, etc, etc. So similarly, the new addition or a new feature tweak that is you can customize your lock screen along with your home screen. For that, do one thing, go to your lock screen, okay, just hard press, enter into customization mode. As soon as you press customize, you will see a different option here, that is your home screen also. So now, from your lock screen also, you can customize your home screen as well as your lock screen here. If you see, so now you can choose to customize lock screen, once you're done, click on done, now you will be back to the Customize screen, tap customization, now you can choose the home screen as well. This is really awesome because for the home screen customization, the iPhone user has to go to settings, wallpaper, then customize your home screen, right? But now at a single point from your lock screen also, you can customize your home screen very easily. And now talking about the next features, there are some small small tweaks done by this update. The first one is about your iPhone screenshot. So whenever you take a screenshot and once you open the screenshot and try to save, okay, once you click on done, the menu was available at the bottom or a below, right? But now it is available at the top corner, left side top corner. So there is a small UI change in this update for the screenshot. And now talking about next week, that is regarding your general or settings. So what to do? Go to settings. In settings, go to general. In general, you will see a new option there. That is your matter accessories. So this will be your new feature or a new setting added for this category. That is your matter accessories. Along with this, there is one more settings which is noticeable. For that, do one thing, open settings, go to your accessibility. In that, go to touch, in touch, open assistive touch. And in that, if you see, if you scroll down, you will see a one option or a new option called use game controller. So now, in this feature, you can use your assistive touch as a game controller. And the perfect instruction, how to use it has been given here. If you see here, how to use it as a game controller has been given here. So now you can use your iPhone or a assistive touch as a game controller in, in, in this feature or in this update. So I think it's really cool here. So according to me in iOS 16.1 beta 1, whatever tweaks or features they added, they are really worth it. So I hope 
in future also apple keep bringing such awesome features for new new update so until then thank you very much i hope you like the video i hope you like the features as well and if you like this video please give a like and please subscribe for more other than iphone tips and tricks and iphone solutions until then thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video